Welcome. Hello, everybody. We are live. This has been a long time in the making. I am super excited to be here before you all. And so before we get started, let me just tell you a couple things. One, I thank you for showing. Thank you for coming. We are doing this 30-day challenge. We are going to advance on purpose. This is all about making sure that you advance in your career. So let me break down what we will be doing so you'll have an understanding. We're going to be going live. 30 days straight, generally at 7 p.m. There are definitely three days that I know the dates or the times are going to be different. So for instance, this Friday, we'll be going live at noon because I have an event in the evening where I'm being honored. So I'm switching that time up. And then for Thanksgiving, Black Friday, we have plenty of time to make sure that you know those dates, but tomorrow it'll be 7 p.m. Friday, it will be noon, and then we'll be back at 7 p.m. Listen, if you are a leader, if you are an aspiring leader, I am going to encourage you to unmask. I'm going to encourage you to get real about your authority authentic self so that that person can shine and come through. So we are doing this for 30 days straight. I want you to be filled. I want you to be ready to take your career to the next level. I want you to advance on purpose. I have been very mindful and very strategic in putting this together just for you. I have designed this for the mid-career woman who's looking to take their career to the next level. Now, no matter where you are, whether you're an aspiring leader to get to the first line, to become a first line supervisor, second line senior, whether you're moving into the executive level realm, you will find something in this 30 days for you. So let me tell you a little bit more about myself. I help mid-career women level up up to an executive level position. And so on today, our topic is something that is really crucial to leaders. And that's who are you? The a power of authentic leadership. And so we're going to delve into why this is important, why embracing authentic leadership is a fundamental aspect fact of leadership excellence. But before we do that, let's do a quick roll call. And note, I am multitasking. And so hopefully I'm going to see it all, but let us know who's here. Type it in the comments. Who's here? Where you're coming from? Let me get to the comment section. I see Stacy. Well, hello there, Stacy. And even if you're catching a replay, so please make this interactive. If there is something that is resonating with you, put it in the comments. Put your name, where you're coming from. We'll be going back through the comments. You can ask any questions that you have between myself and the team. Hey, Orvin. Hey, Laura. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And although this really is for mid-career women, listen, everybody can get nuggets from this because it's a leadership and we are going to do the thing on purpose. This is advancing on 
purpose. And that is what we are going to do. We are going to inspire each one of us and everybody. All right. So definitely, again, if something is resonating with you, please put it in the comments because we will be looking through them. So if I miss anything right now, please forgive me, but we will be looking through everything. And if I look down, I do have some notes because I don't want you all to miss anything. I'm setting a timer because you all are busy and I wanna make sure that we are done within 30 minutes because again, you all are leaders or aspiring leaders and your time is valuable. For those who don't know me, let me just give you just a quick story so you can learn a little bit more about me. All right, listen, I'm going to tell you, I literally had the dream life. I had the list. Come on, women, you all who has a list out there? You know, the list that we make, hey, I want to get married. Hey, I'm going to college. I'm getting a degree. Maybe, hey, uh, my list is I'm going to ace the bar. Whatever your list is, I know you probably had a list, right? But let me tell you what my list, my list was I had just purchased my first home. I had the husband, my child. We even had a dog. And guess what? I I was really thinking, I was like, we had a picket white fence. So we even had the white fence. Loved my career. I was traveling all across the United States, teaching leadership to top tier managers leading people and supervising. I was sitting at the table with the heads of departments. I had it all until the day I didn't. That's right. I literally began to realize that there were cracks in my life, in that perfect life that I thought I had. Matter of fact, There were cracks in my list, that perfect list that I thought I had. (laughs) So let me tell you, the first crack came when I got the phone call that my mother had passed. Oh, did I get napkins or tissue? Sorry, y'all. Okay. (laughs) Okay. So my mother had passed and I was devastated, dumbfounded, shocked, didn't expect it. Even to today, it still lands in a little bit of an awkward space. You would think that that was going to be it, that that was enough. But let me tell y'all, that perfect marriage that I thought I had, that perfect husband that I thought I had, well, that was crack number two because I didn't have a perfect marriage. I didn't have a perfect husband. My marriage was over. Between crying and crying and crying, it was just something that was never expected. And I'm sure um, there's some people out there that can attest to that as well. I was going to work. I had the figures hold my household down. And yet my perfect life was literally falling apart. Really between being angry, upset. I mean, I felt like nothing. I didn't know how I was going to go on. And then there was a voice that came into my spirit that whispered, Miranda, 
everything broken isn't meant to be fixed. And I needed that because that is when I decided, guess what? I'm going to fill these cracks. I'm going to get these tools. This is not going to defeat me. This is not going to be who I'm destined to be. I am going to climb. And then I realized that the tools that I had gained were the tools that other women needed to be able to be people free, to be able to be a leader that knows how to lead with love, to be able to speak speak and change people's lives, to be able to do the things that you know that you are meant to be. I use those tools to build who I am today. And so over this next 30 days, I am going to pour into you as much as I can. I am going to give you those tools so you too can advance on purpose. You too can take your career to the next level. And I want to stress in this session that authentic leadership is what is truly going to set you apart. It's about aligning your values. It's about knowing your strengths, your weaknesses, and how that coincides with your leadership style. I see it time and time again, leaders not knowing who they are, leaders wanting to be or people wanting to be leaders and not know how and still not being in touch with their authentic self. And so in this session tonight, we are going to explore the profound impact of authentic leadership on your career growth, your ability to inspire and influence those around you. We're going to delve into the concept of self-reflection, significance of identifying your core values and the benefits of recognizing your strengths and your weaknesses. These elements together build the blocks and the foundation of authentic leadership. But why is this important? Consider this. Authentic leadership is not just about achieving personal success, but it's about creating a work environment that promotes growth and opportunities for everybody around you. It's about fostering diversity, equity, inclusion. It's about taking your career to the next level. Okay. So everybody, again, we're going to walk through and I'm counting the clock y'all. So I got, I got about 15 minutes. So let me make sure that I'm hitting everything. All right, I think I am. I'm just I'm double checking to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's um, talk about how we're going to get this done. So authentic, authentic leadership is not just about achieving your personal success. It's about, again, creating that work environment that promotes growth opportunities for everyone. We're going to embark on this journey. And by the end of the session, you'll understand more about self-reflection, your core values, and recognizing your strengths and weaknesses as a leader. So self-reflection is the first thing. And self-reflection is the foundation of personal and professional growth. Self-reflection fosters self-awareness, which is the cornerstone of effective leadership. When leaders take time to reflect on their 
actions, their decisions, their behaviors. They gain insights into their strengths, their weaknesses, their values, their motivation. We never want to take this particular um, aspect lightly. Self awareness allows you to understand how you impact others and how you can impact the actual organization as a whole. So self-reflection involves taking time away from the busyness because you're busy. I know you're busy. I'm busy. We're all busy. However, you must take time away and from that whole day-to-day and become introspective. You need to analyze your thoughts, your actions, your decisions. And by doing that as a leader, you gain valuable insight into your own strengths, your weaknesses. You understand your impact on others. And that helps you to align your actions with your core beliefs and your values. So keys to self-awareness, understanding your own emotions. Yes, we must understand. I know a lot of us on this feed are ladies, women, but we must understand what we're bringing to the table, your emotions, your strengths, your limitations, and to learn to manage yourself effectively so that you can make informed decisions, gauge your leadership style and decisions that affect it affects your team. It affects your team members. It affects the culture of the organization and your ability to make sure that you're achieving the necessary goals. When we're talking about self-reflection, we're also talking about, again, your decision-making. We want to make sure that you're analyzing your patterns. You're analyzing your problem-solving Um, how you're making those decisions, the tactics to identify any bias or inconsistencies. And that's extremely important. You're by, you can have biases, okay? You can have inconsistencies. The most important thing is to be able to recognize them. The most important thing is to be able to do that self-reflection to understand why did this come out this way? How did this come out this way? So that's extremely important. Your adaptability, being also able to influence your relationships, your goal reflection, reviewing your short-term, your long-term to ensure that they are aligned with your vision, your mission, and that's for your personal growth and for your professional growth. It's extremely important that you know what those things are, your accountability, who's holding you accountable? Acknowledging mistakes and learning from them while celebrating successes and understanding the factors that led to them. So self-reflection is not a one-time event, but it's an ongoing, continuous process that helps your course of action. It helps you to foster personal growth. And ultimately, it helps you to be an authentic leader. So take a moment to think about your leadership journey, whether you've been on this journey, whether you want to get on this journey, what experiences have shaped you? What experiences have shaped you as a leader? How do you perceive your leadership style? If you haven't been an official leader, how do you want your leadership style to be? How do you want to show up? How do you perceive that style? How do you want others to perceive it? Reflecting on these questions help you to gain insight into your leadership identity by understanding where you are. You can chart a clearer path to where you want to be. Now, let's talk about core values. So your core values may be totally different from my core values. We do not have to be carbon copies. However, 
you do need a set of core values. Core values serve as the fundamental guiding principles that shape a leader's decision-making and their behavior. They provide a moral and ethical compass that helps leaders to navigate complex um, situations. Um, they help you to make the difficult choices and you're able to stay true to your beliefs. I know that you have seen people out there and you're looking at them like, do they have any values? Are there any ethical um, means within their being? And you, my dear, do not want to be that person. So your core values are, are extremely important. These are values, again, they're your compass that directs your decisions and your actions. So I want you to take some time to identify what are your core values? What are they? What principles are important to you? And this is not the thing where you can look at your neighbor and say, hey, neighbor, well, what's important to you? No, we want you to be authentic to who you are. So if I ask you that question, what's your response? I wish I could hear you all because I'm sure you're saying something. So what principles are important to you? Is it integrity? Is it empathy? innovation, or is it something else? Your core values serve, again, as your moral compass. It's an ethical foundation of your leadership and aligning your actions with them ensures your authenticity. It ensures your trustworthiness. People can count on you because they know that you have a moral character code and values. And so it's important to take time out. Sometimes your values may shift over time and that's okay, but it's important to take time out to be able to list them to be able to know because then you can really truly embrace them and they will come out of you. The last thing that we want to talk about, strengths and weaknesses. A lot of people don't like to talk about this. Every leader possesses unique strengths and should learn how to navigate their lesser strengths. So there is a whole debate in the world of leadership, the world of, the world of coaching, all of this when it comes to saying I have a weakness or saying I have a lesser strength. So you'll hear some people call it a weakness and you're going to hear some people call it a lesser strength. And I'm going to have to keep on moving on because we are limited in time, but I could go into a tangent about this whole topic. But recognizing your strengths allows you to leverage them, to inspire, to influence others effectively. Conversely, Understanding your weaknesses enables you to address them. You can mitigate them. You can collaborate around them. And then sometimes, listen, you just got to do what you got to do, whether it's a lesser strength or not. If something has to be done, there are times that you're just going to have to do it. Gallup's research on leadership emphasizes or strengths emphasizes that the most effective leaders are those who understand and leverage their unique strengths, as well as those of their team members. According to Gallup, focusing on strengths rather than weaknesses leads to higher levels of engagement, productivity, and well-being, both for the individual and for teams. A study by the Corporate Leadership Council found that emphasizing strengths over weaknesses can increase employee performance by 36%. So as you can hear, a strengths-based approach can be dynamic. Now, granted, I, I will say this, 
maybe a strengths-based approach may not be the best fit for every organization or leadership style. Context matters. Leveraging strengths effectively often requires a nuanced understanding of the broader organizational culture and objectives. But nonetheless, the data makes a strong point in the benefits of a strength-based approach. And for time's sake, I, I don't want to go off on another tangent, uh, but it's so important to really understand your strengths and know how to play with the lesser strengths. And so let me say this, you all, we're going to have gift giveaways at least once a week. And so during this challenge, you will have yummy gifts. And when I say yummy, I'm not going to be able to talk about everything that you need. And so I have been very purposeful in making sure that you get other things. And so my gift giveaways are going to really be a blessing to your leadership journey. It'll be a blessing to you going to the next level, advancing on purpose. And so our gifts are going to be in the Facebook group, Next Level Progression Tribe. You'll see it on the screen. You can use a little um, code to be able to get in, or you can look up on Facebook, Next Level Progression Tribe. But what's going to happen is if you go ahead and sign up and get into the tribe, you will know the morning of when there's going to be that free gift because the gift is only going to be there for a limited time, but you will be the first in the know. Um, but for everybody else, you'll know when you're getting the free gift when I go live. So you will not know until I go live. But for those that are in the tribe, you'll know the day you'll, you'll at least get the 411 the day of that, hey, it's gift time, but definitely I want those gifts to be a blessing to you all. So make sure that you go to Next Level Progression Tribe. And then I want to, for time's sake, to be able to end with just really getting you to understand that whole self-reflection it's going to help you in your journey. It's going to help you even with your core values. It'll literally help you with your decision making, then recognizing your strengths and your weaknesses enables you to improve continuously. When you align your leadership with your authentic self, you become an in influential, effective leader. Leadership is about influence, leading by example, connecting with your authentic self. And sometimes this is new for us to really truly show up with who we are authentically, but it can be done. It's about making sure that we can create these environments. And I am telling you that you can show up authentically and it will be such a blessing to those around you, to those you serve. You're going to foster diversity, equity, inclusion, belonging, accessibility, and you're going to do it with excellent excellence. And I want to end with a quote. Knowing yourself is the beginning of wisdom. And that's by Aristotle. And that quote just emphasizes that before one can effectively lead others, you must understand yourself. Self-awareness is the cornerstone of authentic leadership. I thank you.
please join me tomorrow for more insight, great nuggets, because it is truly my goal to help you to advance on purpose, to go to the next level. You deserve to advance. My name is Miranda Denise Watson, and I help mid-career women level up to executive level positions.